When people say you are what you eat, they may actually be onto something. You probably already know that food can affect your physical health. Duh. But maybe you didn't know that what you eat can also have a huge influence on the way you think, feel, and behave. Some scientists even say there's a second brain in your gut. That's because the brain and the digestive tract are connected by what's called the gut-brain axis. I hope you got something good to eat tonight. Unlike the one in your head, the brain in your gut can't actually think or feel, but it can influence the directions of your thoughts and feelings via the messages it sends to the brain. How does it work? Well, there are trillions of bacteria living in our gut, some good and some bad. In fact, the effects of bacteria are so important that life as we know it would be impossible without them. Imbalances of those good and bad bacteria may play a role in mental health issues, like depression and anxiety, or even just a crappy mood. But it's not all bad news. Increasing the amount of good bacteria in your gut can actually have a positive effect on the way you feel. Like we said, you are what you eat. You can find good bacteria, also known as probiotics, in fermented foods like yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, and kombucha. If you're not into the fermentation thing, you can also get your probiotics in supplement form. In a recent study, people who took probiotic supplements every day for four weeks reported having fewer negative thoughts. Another study found that the brains of women who ate yogurt, yes, yogurt, were less reactive to scary images. And another study found that students who had more fermented foods in their diet, like that kimchi we mentioned before, were less neurotic and socially anxious. Crazy, right? More good, healthful food. But before you stock your fridge with kimchi, keep in mind that probiotics aren't some miracle cure for depression. Exactly. Probiotics aren't likely to ever replace antidepressants, but doctors might one day prescribe them alongside medication or therapy. In the meantime, a little sauerkraut never hurt anyone.